Hallo, Hallo. 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 Here we are! Here we are! <laughs> Today, where are we going? Restaurant! Restaurant! Even though we've got so much food, we've decided to go to a restaurant. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, because why not? One why not? must pleasure themselves from time to time. <laughs> Princess Lula. Princess Uvo. Uvo. Yeah. Okay. Princess Uvo. We're just looking out for fruit, seeing which fields look ready for a little raiding mission. Yeah. When is watermelon season? It's right towards the end of the summer, although for us it's already started now because in Spain they start growing them much earlier. So we can buy watermelon, but us, but we're still growing it. But next year when we've got a polytunnel, we'll be able to start growing it earlier, which means we'll have watermelon earlier. <laughs> We're going to a place called Eus, which is the village you can see just over there. It's on the south facing side of the mountain. The most sunny village in the whole of France, they say. <laughs> Gummy fruit! That was nectarines for sure. Ooh, they look good! The restaurant is not in Ayus and um, we got that a bit wrong. And we're under a bit of time pressure because they close in 30 minutes. This whole valley is fruit, but it's interesting to see that on the south facing side where we are now, it's there's more um, olives and almonds and it's more, um, it's more like the kind of uh, stuff you would uh, get in Spain uh, in hotter climates. Got here. Tomatoes! <laughs> uh, yeah. So we are on a big, big boat. <laughs> We're on the main road. Right. We feel a bit conned because the pictures did not look like this on the website. And it said it was an AOS, and it's not. And it also apparently only serves burger and chips because it says burgers and chips on this sign or maybe they also sell burgers and chips anyway who knows let's find out it looks weird just stay here one second baby. Ah, I see okay that's not too bad they do have a little view it's okay yeah salad the chef um yeah that looks like the biggest salad. Salad de chèvre? Oui, ouais. and, uh, and frites. And frites, okay. Well, c'est frites. Oui, il y en a dans votre petit you, menu. You want frites as well? Yeah. Yeah. Lulu, <laughs> what are you wearing that necklace for, exactly? <laughs> Lulu. <laughs> Whoa! All right. 
Yeah, they're gonna have burgers probably. I don't know, I think so. I think Mama ordered burgers, but I don't feel like eating meat at the moment. Yeah, just to clarify, I'm not really a vegan, I'm not really an anything, I'm just a guy who's in touch with his body and sometimes I eat meat, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I don't eat meat for months. Uh, but yeah, sometimes I'll have a whole two weeks of gorging on this stuff. Though that, that's pretty rare, if I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Come on. Da, 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 da. Here it is, go. So the catch is, it's got a view of Eus. It's not in Eus, it's a view of. Tricky, tricky, tricky. But it's good enough for us, right? Quick point I want to make uh, relating to mobile phones. So when we come out now, we, uh, we don't take mobile phones anymore. The reason being is that you are very likely being tracked for the purposes of this. Uh, I don't want to say the word because, yeah, everyone knows why we're being tracked, right? Um, uh, if I say the word, the, the video gets a thing under it and I don't want that on YouTube. Anyway, the point is... Mobile phones are the way they're tracking you. So, we used to live in a world, not that long ago, about 20, 30 years, uh, where there were no mobile phones and we all survived. Okay, right? We could use public telephones. Yes, Mama. So, if you want to guarantee that you will never find yourself in a position where you are being forced against your will to be uh, quarantined, um, because you were in close proximity to someone else who tested positive, then don't take your phone out because, you know, that's, that's the reality. This lady here may have a phone in her pocket. If I had a phone in mine and she tested positive next week, I would get a call and be told to quarantine myself. And that kind of situation can grow and grow and grow exponentially before everybody's quarantined all the time. Anyway, easy solution. Don't take your phone out. That's it. Wow, look at this! <laughs> thanks, thanks. Do you know what kind of animal it is? Can you think which, which animal? Pig. Pig? No. no. Try again. Goat? Goat? Uh, no. <laughs> Goat burgers. I don't know, in some places, maybe that's all the rage. Bear. Bear burger. <laughs> it's cow. It's cow burger. Just so we're clear, it's important that children understand. It takes a few years before they get it. When they do, they start to question it and go, oh, do I really want to be eating this cow? It's not a cow, it's sandwich. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's that's the cow bit. That's the meat. No, I don't. You don't like eating cows. I think you do actually. <laughs> Doesn't matter, Mama. She can have salad instead if she wants. <laughs> No. Glass, oh I see. No, no, no. Luna, no. <laughs> glass, glass is made from cow milk, which is for baby cows, no. Lulu. No! Yeah, yeah, so you, you've really got to force them into constant lactation and it's it's pretty cruel for cows. You've got to take their babies away from them and stuff to, to make ice cream, basically. So, so, you know, yeah, just learning about cows today. <laughs> Super. <laughs> oh right, this is not ice cream. Okay, so this is not made with cow milk. Hooray! <laughs> There's definitely some unnatural stuff going on in that, that however. <laughs> but we're letting it go. It's restaurant day, or if you can call this a restaurant. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> Snack bar day. <laughs> what what is it in there that makes it sweet? Do you think? 
Any idea? Sugar. Sugar, very good. How's yours, Lulu? Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, after a recent conversation with Seb, I have learned that sugar is actually not as bad for you as we've kind of come to believe that it is. It's mostly about what we combine sugar with because it tends to come in cakes or biscuits or you know stuff that's generally bad for you but the sugar itself is not and since Seb told me this about a week ago maybe two weeks ago I have been adding the extra sugar on my cereal um, extra sugar in my coffee extra sugar on everything really sugar in the smoothie extra sugar and so far, so good. I feel great, I feel energized. I don't seem to be having the kind of down bits that people talk about if you have sugar. Um, but then I eat fruit a lot throughout the day as well. But yeah, anyway, trying a new thing. Sugar is now good. So that's it, we're here, we're off to the garden now, which is whoop, right up there. And what's interesting is that you can actually see the cross that I walked to last time. It's just on that peak there. <laughs> it's visible from our, from our allotment, which by the way, is just up this path here. Oh, it's so perfect. Perfect. Oops. <laughs> Show me the, the sit jump. Okay. Do it. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, ma. Go, Lulu. Ma, ma, ma. Yeah. Ma. Do okay, do it, Lulu. Maybe you can empty it. Yeah, I've got a test for you, Doris. This plant. 